Today I'm showing you the home of uh, Ben and Jan McCoy in the South Wash Park area of Denver. And it's a solar powered home. And uh, I'm starting here because this is such a cool side yard. It's south facing yard that is so well designed for sun. It has got great shade from the trees and between that and these wonderful umbrellas here and great landscaping. As a realtor, I say this is one of the best landscapes homes I have ever seen, and uh, I'd love to list it. <laughs> Let's go inside and check out the sustainable features of your home. The house is served by both ducted heat pumps and by a couple mini splits. So uh, here are the compressors. Uh, tell us, tell us about which is which. Well, this one, <clears throat> this one takes care of the first floor ducted system and one of the uh, split head wall units, which is in the basement. And then this one, this unit, takes care of the second floor. And uh, that's for the ducted part of the second floor. And then also uh, one split head, it's a floor unit that's in our family room. Uh-huh, yeah, like the one that's in the living room. The one that's in the yeah, living room. We, okay, great. And since we're here, might as well point out that back there are your inverters yep. for, the, uh, for the two sets of uh, solar panels to That's array. Right. Inside now, uh, Ben can show us the solar panels on his, he's uh, linked his yeah. iPad to his big screen TV. And here, instead of trying to show you this from outside, which would be really hard, there is a view of his house. That's the garage on the alley. We're in Denver, so there's an alley. <laughs> Love those alleys. And um, and that was his first installation. And then a second installation with a different brand of solar panels was put in after he got his electric vehicle, which is a Model Y. And he has a, a charging station in his garage for that. And now, now you told me that uh, only in a couple months in the winter do you actually pay for electricity. So yeah. you're not completely net zero and never will be because you still have gas fireplaces and a gas grill. Uh, but... Uh, but you are close. Yeah, we're close, and we rarely use those those units. The, um, here's one of the inserts here. Yeah. Um, and it sort of helps plug that hole in the fireplace for us. Yeah. As far as uh, our outdrafting, yeah, yeah. Our heat, losing our heat. Yeah, right. And uh, the HVAC system is heat pump based, and this is actually a floor version of a mini split, and the one, there's a traditional wall mini split that we'll see in the basement. But uh, the rest of the house is heated by the same heat pump compressors, but uh, through duct work that was there for the gas forced air system. That's right. Yeah, okay. So now let's uh, go down to the basement and check out the HVAC system. In the basement now, I just wanna point out the, the thermostat here. This home has four zones in effect. This thermostat, runs the wall mini split that is over here. And there's a zone for the floor unit I showed you upstairs. And then the duct work for the basement and the first floor are served by this air handler, both for heating and air conditioning. As you know, that's what heat pumps are great for is that you just have one unit instead of a furnace plus a separate AC unit. And here's the A.O. Smith heat pump water heater, which also has some, uh, one of my favorite features, which is a recirculation line. That's the, the little pump that keeps the hot water circulating all the way up to the primary bedroom or what we used to call the master bedroom. And here we can also see, by the way, that they are... Uh, Re mitigating radon in this house. Uh, as you may not know, the uh, you always look at this little U-shaped thing here and the level of the blue liquid has to be unequal because that shows you that it is the pump is running and that it is depressurizing the sub slab area. So anyway, there's my little lecture on mitigating radon. And then here, this is the wall unit that I showed you is if it were on an exterior wall, the condensation would go to the grass, but here it goes into this little pump. Did I miss anything? No, I think you got it. Okay, Ben. Thank you. As you may realize by now, I was trained in advance. Oh, and one thing that Bob, that Ben told me 
which is interesting is that this mini split here is perfectly fine for this entire floor. And you said that uh, upstairs, the the floor unit that we showed in the living room is often does enough of a job that you never even run this air handler here. Yeah, we'll spend a fair amount of the winter with just that running and the duct work side of things not it, using Not that. running, but you have separate duct work on the top floor, mm -hmm. which is fed by an air handler in the attic. And uh, that you have no mini split there. So that that duct work air handler is running for heat in the winter. That's right. Yeah, but it's all from heat pump. It's all based on heat pump, so it's all very efficient. Okay, so let's go upstairs and continue the tour. Here we are in the garage. And by the way, I love, again, the landscaping is so nice here. I love the brick, brick uh, patio out there instead of just concrete. So here's his Model Y, which he loves. Don't blame him at all. And here's the Tesla charging wall connector. So uh, you don't pay for any electricity anywhere, do you? Uh, not really. I mean, the solar panels take care of most of this. Yeah, it's great. Except when you go on road trips. Have you been on road trips? We have. Yeah, then you have to use the superchargers. The superchargers, yeah, which yeah. is reliable. Yeah, totally reliable, yeah. Okay, well, that sort of completes our tour. I'm not going to bother taking you to the second floor. I already described what it's like. And uh, thank you, Ben, for helping us uh, understand your home that's on the solar tour. My pleasure.